Hi, my name is Grace Shalom, and I'm here with Brother Drum Carter, Little Brother Motorized Drum Carter. Alright, these are your controls on and off, and then fast and slow, and forward and reverse. Now, before we get started, I want to talk to you about these controls. When you are going first, you start, you flick it to on and then you advance the speed like this. Now if you want to go into reverse, completely turn the speed down and flip it to reverse. And then turn the speed up again. When you want to go back to forward, completely turn the speed down, flip it into forwards. Think of this as your car. If you are driving and you want to go into reverse, you don't just slam it into reverse while you're driving down the middle of the road. No. You also don't slam it into forwards when you're backing up down the road. So that will blow your motor and it will not be happy. The same goes for when you're turning it off. Do not turn it off while it's turning. Turn it all the way down, then turn it off. Because if you're in your car and you take the keys out right in the middle of the road without putting it in park or anything, bad things will happen. Alright, so once you figured that out, which anybody who operates any type of vehicle, even in theory, should be able to grasp right away, you're good to go. That is the extent of the complications of running the Brother Drum Carter, Baby Brother Motorized Drum Carter. Now the first thing I wanted to talk about is this brush. You can tilt it down so as you're carting it smooths that fiber out, but it also comes off. And I especially like it to come off when you're trying to clean it. So see, I've, I've left the drum really dirty so you guys can see how this works. So these twists right here, so I think this feature makes the little brother extremely versatile. Um, fairly often I like to hold the fiber on to the big drum painting style and this brush is not helpful to that process. <laughs> so I like to take it off and here let me demonstrate how I use it most. So if I were carding a bat, I like to just hold it on and just manually do that. Um, you can also flick some fibers on, but the bristles aren't very stiff. But the main feature I like is that you can hold it and you can smush it. The next benefit of taking this off is you can clean your drum a lot easier. Now I have two tools that I really recommend. The doffer brush, or I cheat, I don't have a doffer brush, so I have a hand card, or a regular brush. This is a fake burr bristle brush. They're plastic, but same idea. So what you want to do is you want to turn your drum carter on, and we always start with this one. So you just scrape it up and on. Now of course I'm not actually cleaning it right now, so I didn't really work very hard. So you get the concept, you move it up. And you couldn't do that if this brush was here. Because if you set that there, it just it doesn't work. The same goes for this guy. You just lay it here and gently scrape against the teeth. Don't push hard, just gently scrape. And keep your little brother on a lower speed. If you had this on a super high speed, it would not be good for your brother. Next, I want to show off this awesome little tray. Oh, and here's a sewing needle. I don't know how that got there. <laughs> so as you can see, this catches all of the little vegetable matter and gunk that usually goes directly on your table, which I think is a super handy little feature because you can just pick this up and tap it in your trash can and slide it back. 
and I like how it's tight right there at the top so you can fit it in and it's not always rumbling out. All right, next I wanted to show you how these mechanisms work. You can see that most of the gears are on the outside so your fiber doesn't have hardly any risk of hopping over into this mechanism. 